What's going on all my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. Today we are moving on with our ATIT's question review series and we're going to be discussing subject verb agreement. Which of the following sentences has subject verb agreement? Is it A, after a heavy rainfall, the dry creek beds often overflows. B, the barns surrounding the farmhouse were painted shades of red and brown. C, many trees in this orchard produces a variety of delicious apples. Or D, freezing temperatures last winter is to blame for the lackluster harvest. And the correct answer is B, the barns surrounding the farmhouse were painted shades of red and brown. Since the subjects of these sentences are plural, the occupying verbs must also be plural. Choices A, C, and D present plural subjects with singular nouns, making the choices incorrect. Which of the following sentences provides an example of correct subject verb agreement? Is it A, the herd of elephants are being driven from their natural habitat? B, the flock of baby ducks search for breadcrumbs near the edge of the pond. C, the pride of lions is traveling across the plains in search of fresh water. Or D, the pack of hungry wolves follow their prey until the early morning hours. And the correct answer is C, the pride of lions is traveling across the plains in search of fresh water. These sentences, subjects, are collective nouns that indicate group unity and are singular in number. Only choice C pairs that singular subject with that singular verb. Which of the following sentences contains an example of correct subject verb agreement? Is it A, both the children prefer pink lemonade instead of iced tea? B, everyone attend orientation meetings before the start of the semester? C, somebody mow the grass regularly even though the house is vacant? Or D, all of the students enjoys the school trip at the end of the year. And the correct answer is A, both of the children prefer pink lemonade instead of iced tea. Indefinite pronouns that are singular, such as everyone or somebody, require a singular verb. Indefinite pronouns that are plural, including both or all, need a plural verb. Choices A, plural subject, both, agrees with its plural verb, prefer. Which of the following sentences contains subject verb agreement? Is it A, after practice this Saturday, the team play its season opener? B, before the pool opens for the season, the water park staff provides lifeguard training? C, as classical music enthusiasts, the audience tend to favor works by Baroque composers? Or D, in addition to geometry and algebra, the class study calculus this year? And the correct answer is B, before the pool opens for the season, the water park staff provides lifeguard training. Each of these sentences contains a collective noun that indicates group unity. Since this type of noun is considered a singular noun, the preceding verb must also be singular. Which of the following sentences contains subject verb agreement? Is it A, both Jenna and Patrick is interested in playing soccer this year? B, Brian and Ellen expects to hear their favorite song at the dance tonight. C, the dog and the cat is both due for their annual veterinary visits. Or D, my aunt and my uncle plan to visit our family over the holidays. And the correct answer is D, my aunt and my uncle plan to visit my family over the holidays. Choice D provides the example of a sentence containing subject verb agreement since the compound subject aunt and uncle is considered a plural subject. Therefore, the verb must also be plural, as in the case with the verb plan. Which of the following sentences contains a correct example of subject-verb agreement? Is it A, neither Howard nor Philip likes to play board games? B, either the host or hostess greet guests when they arrive at the restaurant? C, Sally or Brenda volunteer at the hospital nearly every weekend? Or D, hiking or jogging provide excellent cardiovascular exercise. And the correct answer is A, neither Howard nor Philip likes to play board games. Compound subjects with multiple nouns are still considered singular if they are joined with words like or nor. Therefore, choice A is correct because it links a singular subject, Howard nor Philip, with the singular verb, likes. 
Which of the following sentences has correct subject verb agreement? Is it A, topics included in the manual ranges from welding to pipe fitting? B, captains of the ship rotates their time on and off duty? C, dates for each club meeting is posted by the door? Or D, numbers for current program enrollment indicate a high degree of interest? And the correct answer is D, number of current program enrollment indicate a high degree of interest. Choice D contains correct subject verb agreement since the subject numbers is plural and the verb indicates that it is also plural. The other answer choices present plural subjects with singular verbs and are therefore incorrect. Which of the following sentences provides an example of correct subject verb agreement? Is it A, the list of standing committees is in the folder, B, one reason for college visits are to help students narrow down the many choices available, C. Peter's collection of model airplanes were started by gifts from his grandfather. Or D. A rare volume of classic folk tales were donated to the library. Which of the following sentences provides an example of correct subject verb agreement? Is it A. The list of standing committees is in the folder. B. One reason for college visits are to help students narrow down the many choices available. C. Peter's collection of model airplanes were started by gifts from his grandfather. Or D, a rare volume of classic folk tales were donated to the library. And the correct answer is B. One reason for college visits are to help students narrow down the many choices available. Each of these sentences contains a plural subject that requires a plural verb. Only choice B correctly pairs the plural subject students with the plural verb take. The other sentences all use plural subjects with singular verbs. Which of the following sentences contains an example of correct subject verb agreement? Is it A, Julia and David performs solo pieces in their evening's choral concert? B, Brian and Alice plan to assist at the school science fair next week? C, Mary and her sisters browse antique stores for unique gift items? Or is it D, Donald and his brothers stop at the grocery store on Fridays to pick up milk and bread. And the correct answer is C. Mary and her sisters browse antique stores for unique gift items. Compound subjects joined by the word and are considered plural and require plural verbs. Compound subjects linked with the word or are considered singular and must be followed by singular verbs. Therefore, only choice C is correct. Finishing up with our last sentences. Which of the following sentences are correct subject verb agreement? Is it A, visitors who toured the botanical gardens are impressed with its lush beauty? B, members of the honor society are chosen based on academic achievement? C, archeologists working on the excavation site has discovered evidence of ancient civilizations? Or is it D, Lawyers at the firm serves as mentors to law student interns. And the correct answer is B. Members of the Honor Society are chosen based on academic achievement. Choice B contains subject verb agreement since the subject members is plural and the verb are chosen is also plural. The other answer choices present plural subjects with singular verbs, therefore making them incorrect. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.